Hey guys, um, today we are going to be discussing about uh, how to change the mail exchange settings uh, to Google Mail. So let's begin with that. Um, Alright, uh, the first thing that you need to do is um, send an email <coughs> to your hosting provider. Um, this is a small quick format that I've uh, typed in. You just need to tell them that you, uh, you need to change DMX records to Google Mail um, for the following accounts. So this would be the domain name that you need to change the mail account for. And this should be the URL. And then this is the Google settings that you need to mention to them. Exactly as it is and then they also require a CNAME record which is this so they need they need one they need all these three information you've got the domain name the MX records settings and the CNAME record so once you're done you can quickly send it out to them uh, you'll receive a quick response from your hosting that they've received it uh, in the meanwhile when they're as when they're processing their your request you, what you can do is um, we can go to Google's Google Apps, which is basically google.com slash a, and we would come on to our Google Apps page. Now the Google Apps basically hosts will be hosting your emails as well. So as we are a small business, we would go for Google Apps free solution, which would have the custom email which will have your Google Calendar, your Google Sites and Google Docs. So let's get started with the Google Apps registration. Okay. So I'm setting up a domain. I can totally be set. Okay, let me try another one. There was one domain that I f had not registered for. Let's see which one it is. There we go. So we type in the information. If we go where if enter the name, last name, email address, the phone, the country, titles not necessary as there's no asterisk over there. Um you need to read this. Yes, I understand that I cannot alter DNS records for my domain. I, it may impact my business, my organization ability to use Gmail. You check that. Put in your organization name. In this example it's an individual, so I'm putting in the individual name. There we go personal so if you have a business whatever your business type is then you select accordingly what is the size of your organization does your organization just currently provide email accounts no it doesn't so what uh, what software do they use what system do they use uh, has Google's uh, sales team assisted you no go to the next page now the username would be the first name and let's put in the password okay once you've retyped the password <coughs> put in the uh, verification code P A T R A L I N you go it's case sensitive so you gotta be careful when typing it in that's also automatically checked. Yes. Continue with the setup. Now the next page would ask you to. Okay, I need to switch my accounts. I was basically logged into my account. Now 
there we go with we're in uh, the domain settings okay now <coughs> this is the uh, the Google Apps setup wizard um, you can go through it uh, but I'm, gonna, I'm quickly gonna skip through the pages and and just quickly need to verify the domain so it knows that uh, yes the, do, uh, the domain belongs to me so next and next and this is the verification stage uh, so we quickly download this HTML file I'll save this on the desktop. Here we go. Once it's saved, so basically we need to confirm after uploading this on the domain. So I jump on my hosting. I log into my hosting account. So I can quickly upload uh, the HTML file for verification and go so that's the domain then we go into we click on upload and we browse the file there we go got it open it up uploading it. It says complete, it's done. So I click on this and I'll get there you go. Google site verification. So now it's verified. Click on verify and verification is done. I'm going to do this later. Don't want to create any user groups. Those are the four core applications that are that are come free along with the free um, Google Apps. All right, next. Everything set up. My there you go. Choose apps. Apps is done. Do this later. Do this later. And again, do this later. Do this later. And okay, so now we need to select. And within settings, we need to select a c custom URL, the one that we specified. So we go next. It's done. Okay, do this later. Then do this later. So now let's click on settings. Quickly change our mail URL. And uh, there we go. Uh, we click on email. Change URL right here in the middle of the page. Click on that. And we select the second option where it says mail dot the domain name continue so once you click on save on that it will show you the same settings that we had emailed before uh, and the reason I knew this uh, is because I've done this before so I had the settings So this is what you need to email if you don't know if this is what you had to email um, so copy this and keep it handy because uh, in case if you don't email it in the beginning um, your hosting service would ask you the same question uh, of the uh, the CNAME value, what CNAME value you want to change, our CNAME value is mail and the CNAME destination would be ghs.google.com so you gotta save these settings if you haven't sent them before now I've completed these steps <coughs> and 
there we go it's done so once your hosting service updates the CNAME and the MX records um, in your whole in your to your hosting service you will be able to access it uh, through the new domain that you've uh, through the new URL that you've selected and your all your emails would be will be hosted on uh, Google Apps instead of your hosting service so your uh, it would look exactly like Gmail um, and I can show you one example of one of my domains so if I go here so if you see if you see there's no difference with this is gmail and this is my email my company email hosted on gmail on google so it's, it's exactly similar exact the the outlook um, the, the front presentation exactly the same as google so it's powered by google so uh, it's user friendly and uh, very accessible um, so there we go uh, i'm done with my with video uh, if you have any questions please do let me know Thank you.